Praise the Lord everyone, welcome back to our channel Rutlips Ministry. Today we are looking at the topic holiness, holy living, why, why we should live holy, amen, why we should live a holy life. It is critical that we live holy in the presence of the Lord, amen. We can't be Christians and living like the world, we have to live different from the world, amen. I just want to ask those who have not yet subscribed to subscribe to the channel give us your support and hit the notification bell so you can receive the notification of the videos when we upload them amen so holiness living holy how do we live holy what does living holy mean amen now to live holy when we live holy it it keep us in the straight and narrow path you know going into eternal life amen it is not it is not that we are living holy and we don't have a reason for living holy we don't know the purpose of holiness we don't understand holiness the bible talk about holiness because god said in, Le in leviticus chapter 11 and verse 45 he said that persons who are not living holy he said that i am the lord right who brought you up out of the land of egypt to be your god therefore be holy because i am holy if god is saying that he is holy and we need to be holy then we ought to be holy we ought to seek to be holy and seek to please god amen now persons who are not living holy they are literally walking on the broad road leading to hell amen i don't want you to be on the broad road going to hell but i want you to be on the straight and narrow road going to eternal life right so one is going into eternal damnation one is going into eternal life so holiness is required if we are going to meet the savior in the air amen i'm talking to the christians to live holy we must live a life that is set apart from the secular world amen so we can't live like the unsafe we can seek to live our lives like the unsafe and, and and do the things of the world and and feast upon the things of the world listening to the, the music that the world listening to and, and and watching the movies that the world is watching the unsafe or the unbeliever is watching but we have to do things different we have to be an example of the believers in words in conversation in charity in our very attitude amen no no christians who practice holy living right are sometimes criticized for being distant and unfriendly however the person who is holy should bring joy to others amen should bring joy to others because of their honesty integrity and good qualities so holiness should not make your face um sad or, or looking um don't cast etc but holiness should put a smile on your face when you're living holy it is a genuine character genuine christ-like character that you are emulating so therefore people when people see you and counteract with you or interact with you they should feel the peace that passes all understanding because the peace the peace the, the joy of the lord is our strength and god gives us a peace which passes understanding so if we have the peace of god then it should overflow in our lives and bless others amen people should people should look at us and and, and can and can say that he's a christian or she's a christian amen people should look at us and and, and can determine whether or not we are believers amen so you must believe that you can be holy because God said you can. Jesus set us apart from the world and its standard. So if God sets us apart from the world, then we can't follow the world. We can't go in the direction that the world is going. And when it, it talks about the world, it is literally talking about the unbelievers, those who are not yet saved, those who are not yet have not yet accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. And we have to pray for them because they need Christ just like we need Christ. So our prayers are that they will, you know, get themselves together, set up, have a made up mind to serve God and, and just accept God, you know, have a relationship with Him, have a burning desire to serve Him, to please Him, to work for Him because God is a spirit. And if we're going to worship him, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. It is critical that we worship him in spirit and in truth. And I, 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 I say this all the time. First Peter 1, verse 15 to 16 said, But as the one who called you is holy, you yourself also be holy in your conduct and manner of living. Right? For it is written, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, is holy. God is telling us to be holy. God wants us to be holy. Holiness is still in fashion. It is, it is still in the season. It is still the in thing. It is not an old time thing. Amen. Holiness is still in season. So let us seek to be holy. 
let us be holy because God is holy. Amen. When we are truly living holy and pursuing God, we don't willingly seek to do, to, to, to sin. Amen. We don't seek to sin when we are pleasing the Lord, but we seek to live holy and to please God. Holiness unto the Lord is our watchword and song. Amen. So let us seek to be holy. Let us strive for holiness. James 4, James chapter 4 and verse 4 said, Do you not know that being the world's friend is being God's enemy? Amen. Literally telling us that if we are a friend of the world, the things of the world, the, 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 the carnal stuff, the worldly stuff, then we are enemies of God because we can't be friend with the world and friend with God at the same time. Amen. The Bible said that we must we, we must please God and shame the devil. Amen. It said that we must choose two masters. Two masters there are. A good one, which is God, and an evil one, which is the devil. We must choose one. Right? Please God, shame the devil. We can't be doing the things of the world and, the, and, and want to do the things of the Lord at the same time. The scripture said we can't serve two masters at the same time. Amen. So we must reject one and hold to the other one. Hold to God and hold to God's unchanging hand. Hold to his unchanging hand very tightly because the rapture is nigh, it is near, it is end time. We are in the, 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 the last days and we need to be get, we need to, to be ready and waiting. Not be getting ready, but be ready and waiting because these are the last days. Amen. God bless you. I hope you strive. You will strive for holiness. After you have watched this video, I hope something that I have said will encourage you to strive for holiness, to seek the face of the Lord some more. Amen. And to worship him some more and to study the scriptures some more and to fast and pray more. Because fasting and prayer will help you in your walk to holiness. Amen. Holiness unto the Lord is our watchword and song. Let us live holy because God is holy. Thank you for watching. Amen. Praise God.